What is going on guys, it is Arts here and welcome to a new video and today we are starting our series called The Road to a Twisted Bow. So I started this from scratch series but with an Ellie obviously, that's what my main item or goal was and I got it from staking which I was very happy and thankful for. So yeah, I decided to come up with an end goal of our series because you know I was just going to do a basic from scratch series and have no end goal and that's not going to be fun. So I decided to go and go for the highest, most expensive weapon in game. And that is the Twisted Bow. I, I can't wait to get to that point. It's going to be a long series, but it will definitely be fun, and I can't wait to do it with you guys. Alright guys, quickly before the video starts, I just want to say stay tuned, because this video was very fun to make. I'm really happy with how it came out, and I do condone my RNG. But yeah, quickly before it starts, I just want to state the giveaway winner for the last video as well as announce the new giveaway that I'm going to be continuing to do every single video. I'm going to be doing a new bond giveaway for you guys who do um, basically support me. So yeah, giveaway winner for the last video is on the screen right now. Congratulations buddy, I have you added in game. If you want to get on any time from now, just PM me, I'll simply give you your bond. I have it right here. As well as the new giveaway, I have another bond right here, if you guys are interested in winning. I don't know why the brightness is so different. Anyways, that's off topic. In order to enter the next bond giveaway, simply like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment down your in-game name down below along with your regular comment. That way I could figure out who you are and add you in-game and make sure you get your hands on the bond. And good luck everybody. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. See ya. First Zora kill in so long. No, what? A dragon stone? No way. Dude, that's gotta be rare as fuck, man. I don't even think I've seen them draw table. I think that's a rare draw table. Oh my god. Alright, so we have the smallest Zora tab in the world, but we need to sell it. Oh, that is not noted. We need to sell it so we can afford more runes and trident charges and stuff. I don't know how much longer I'm going to do Zora because, you know, it's not the funnest thing in the world, so... Because I really do want to go do Demonic Gorillas, but... Well, we're probably going to stay here for at least a mill or two, honestly. What the fuck kind of drop is that? Dude, that's probably the best drop I think I've ever gotten. Look at that. Holy shit, I'm rich! Alright guys, we're going to take a break from Zora. We're going to claim all of our money. That's actually a lot more than expected. I cannot complain. So now we have a good 892k. We're going to sell all of our gear that we actually bought. Uh, well, probably not. Just the trident stuff. And then we're going to buy demonic gorilla supplies and go kill gorillas and hopefully get a zenite shard. That would boost so much of what I could do. Alright, so there was just a RuneScape update, and the Elijah has actually been buffed. So that's really cool. I, I didn't know it didn't work on every boss until recently, but I guess it does now. So I could see the Ellie going up in price now. Oh my god, it's already went up 10 mil since the servers came on. Are you kidding me? It was 590 mil, or 490 mil, now it's 505 mil. What the? That's crazy, dude. What the hell? Alright, so now we have a, a mill. Instead of using Void at Demonic Gorillas, though, I'm going to bring better gear, so I'm going to probably buy Torags, you know, D-Boots, and stuff like that, just so I tank, because right now I'd, I'd literally get demolished in Void, because I have no defensive bonuses, so I'll be back when I get the gear, and then go kill some Demonic Gorillas, and hopefully get some good loot. I haven't done them in so long, so this is going to be really interesting. Alright, so we actually got the Torax play legs, but we also got the Ceridoan DI top. I was debating whether Zami or Ceridoan, and I think Ceridoan will be good, because when I have to do Zilliana, I'm obviously going to use, like, actual gear, not void, so that's going to help with Zilliana, probably, for God Wars Dungeon once we get to that. So now we just need to put on B gloves, and I think we're ready to go. Oh, D boots as well, and we have supplies, so I think we're good. Not gonna lie, I think this is the deadest I've ever seen a Grand Exchange on RuneScape. First of all, there was just an update. Second of all, it's a new world, so... Really happy that they did some new worlds that apply for me, so... 307's probably gonna end up being my home world, to be honest, because, you know... West Coast, boys, but... There we go, got our D-boots on. We also bought a D-Halley for the spec uh, weapon, and I think we're good to do some Demonic Gorillas. Hopefully we get lucky. Ignore that I forgot my range pond, super comet pond, the bank, but this is how dry we are of a zenite. Currently thought I'd just share that with you. 337, so we are long overdue for a drop. Hopefully we could get one soon. Uh, let's go get our pots and go do our first trip, and then I'm probably going to take a little nap and then re 
or continue when I get back up. Currently smited, but we're about to finish our last demonic gorilla tr uh, or kill of the trip, and we'll price check the loot for you guys. We got a lot of cool, uh, a lot of kills this trip, even though I haven't done these in forever. Oh, uh, we just got sharks as well, so we didn't bring enough prayer potions, obviously, but that's okay. Let's just price check these real quick. Am I aggro? No, I'm not. Okay. We'll see how much we've actually made. I'm not gonna do this every trip. Just gonna show you guys the general idea of what I'm gonna be doing, but uh, 220k. That's like a Zora kill or two. Can't really complain because of the fact that we could get 13 mil item from here. But yeah, we're gonna basically come back and do another trip and hopefully get a rare drop. All right, so we're currently selling our loot tab from the Demonic Grills. We've only done three or four trips, I think. So it's really not that much, but I am out of potions and stuff, so I'm going to have to get the money from it to buy back some supplies and continue for the Zenite grind. I think I'm going to do Demonic Gorillas at least until I hit or get one Zenite shard drop and then I'll move on to something else. Maybe. It depends how long it takes. These aren't even selling for 1 GP. Feels bad, man. But yeah, I really hope we can get a Zenite shard this video. That'd be freaking awesome. And yeah, let's spend all this cash on freaking more potions, rip. Uh, tell me that didn't look like I looked down and I thought that was a Zenai shard for a quick for a second or two, just because like the ruby bolt and the the crystal or the tooth half, it just looks like it. I don't know why. It's just oh man, I'm so triggered right now. That freaking got me, man. I'm just at the GE freaking buying more supplies because I ran out and I look in my chat and someone finished off the Harambe I didn't kill. So we're gonna go back and try and get that U seed really quickly. Dude, we have killed four hundred. 94 basically almost 500 demonic gorillas and we have yet to get a single zenite shard drop in 494 kills if i don't get one this trip and we hit over 500 kill count with that one i'm going to literally neck myself and that's another trip dry so we are officially over 500 kill count 100 percent so that's unfortunate how much should we get from this trip though because that was a, a lot of kills that time not gonna lie and uh, that's pretty shit. 120 or 135k rip. Well, I actually ran out of freaking bolts that trip. That's a little embarrassing. So I think I'm going to go and sell my loot tab and buy more supplies. Wait, unless I have cash. I think I still have cash. One second. Yeah, I'm freaking cleaned. I bought I put it all into my gear, so I think we're gonna sell our loot tab. We don't have that much, so I'll be back when we finish selling it, I guess. Alright, let's see how much this is actually going to give us, and good luck RNG. 535k plus this we have to sell. It's not even that bad to be honest, 600k. And I'm just, man the only reason I'm there is to get that one 13 mil drop. And once I could get that, there's so much more I could go do. Oh, it's just all about getting it, so now we're going to end up buying more ruby bolts back. And probably invest the rest into even more supplies, like pots and stuff, because we're obviously going to need it. I don't know, we'll decide though. I almost forgot to set up loot notifications, so if I were to get a Zenite Shard, I don't think you guys would have been, been like, like been able to know if I were the one who dropped or not, so I think, what do we do this, like 30k? Is that the threshold? Drop item warnings. So I, th oh that's the warnings. So this entire time, I only had the drop items, like so if I were to drop an item that's over 30k, it'd give me a warning. But this is the loot drop notifications I never had set up, so I'm going to put that to 50k, obviously, because I don't want to... How do I change it? Change. So that way I don't get notified whenever I get, like, a rune plate legs or something, you know, so... That should be good, I guess, I hope. Yeah. Well, fuck my life. As you can see, I got a hard clue scroll. You're probably wondering, why... What's the wrong? What's the wrong? What's wrong? Well, if you've done Demonic Gorillas before, you'd know that that is more rare than a Zenai, unfortunately, so... Oh, fuck, I'm, I'm messing up my price switches as well, but... Oh my god, misclicks. But yeah, that kind of sucks, but I mean, I guess we'll do it, and hopefully try and get a good reward. We'll do it after this uh, kill, and we'll see what happens. That'd be pretty cool if we actually got something, you know? These Ruby Bolts are tearing these things up, though, not gonna lie. Look how useful this house is, dude. I'm so happy I got construction done on this account before HK got banned. <laughs> I mean, I wish I got another level. I'll probably get the other level eventually because I need to get the Ring of Wealth, but I have to still find, get a boost for that, which is really annoying. 
But look at this. I need to get 76 agility, I think. Actually, honestly, I could get like 72 or 70 or, or 71 even and just summer pie or whatever for uh, uh, Zora or just use an agility pie. I don't know. Because that would just make Zora so much easier because currently the method I use, I go all the way to freaking um, Catherby and use, I use the docks to go there, which is really, really inefficient. That's why I'm not really doing Zora this much during the series, at least not at the moment. So maybe off video whenever I'm bored or just really want to get a agility, like an agility level or two out of the way, I'll probably do that. I, I really want to get 76. That's 20 levels though, which is kind of no annoying. But that would help so much for Zora, man. But let's do this clue nonetheless and hopefully get a good reward. Fuck me, dude. I really didn't want to get a clue step because the fact I just don't want to bank all my items and go to the wilderness. But looks like we're off to Gorok and then we're going to run east from there, so... Yeah, I'm just going to do finish this clue. I'm not I really don't want to bore you guys. I'm just, you know, I'm used to doing stuff like this, but I'm just going to like I'm going to try and make my videos better by not showing all the useless stuff. So, I guess I'll just be back when we have a casket or if we can't finish this clue. I think I could do every clue step though on on a hard on a hard though. So, yeah, I'll just let you guys know, I guess. <laughs> I, I just realized I had my mic muted, but first freaking clue of the series and we get one mil. Holy shit. You guys don't understand how happy I am about that. That is crazy. I'm obviously going to sell it. I mean, I could just wear D-boots to Harambe. It's not like I need these, but that is insane, dude. First ever card clue of the series, and we get one mil. Oh my god, what is RNG nowadays? Alright guys, we've just sold the boots, and we got a mil from that clue. Oh my god, that was definitely worth it. That is so nice. That's going to boost our cash deck a lot. So now we could afford tons of supplies for Harambe. Alright, so from that demonic rail trip, we actually we forgot to get uh, our actual gear back, you know, so... But we did get a two spirit seed drop, which absolutely sucks. I'm pretty sure that is really rare. I even said in game I was like spirit spirit seeds, and everyone was like rip. So, fuck my life, ripper, you know. I risked it for one kill, and I died. Feels fucking bad, man. Oh, what the hell? I kept my Twarg's plate legs auto keep. What? That's a thing. I thought I was gonna have to repair it. Okay, so I'm not salty about dying then. Alright, we got the casket from our Demonic Gorilla Clue Scroll. We're going to go to our house and do it safely in our house. Alright, uh, it kind of sucks though getting two Clue Scrolls from Demonic Girls. I mean, they're fun to do and stuff and open them, but it just kind of sucks knowing that they're a 1 in 500 and that could have been the Zenite. It's more rare than a Zenite actually, so that kind of sucks, but good luck RNG. Let's see what happens. LOL! Oh, I... Oops, I guess I can't even open it in my house. Feels bad, man. Let's just go to Edgeville and open it. Three, two, wait, I know how we could do this. We got we gotta give it the RNG. Use the Elijah on the casket. Boom. Good luck. Bam. <laughs> Fuck. That 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 is the worst hard clue I've seen in my life. They gave me the magic compo. Very useful. Oh my god. <gasps> Finally! Finally, dude. Oh my god, my heart just sunk. We finally got it. We finally got it. Oh my god. I could finally quit Demonic Gorillas. You don't understand the feeling of my heart. Not quit, I'll come back eventually, but... I don't have to sit there and grind it non-stop until I actually get a drop. I actually didn't get a single troll drop in these kills after starting the series. Only the clue scrolls, but that's not really a troll drop. Oh my god, I have to go see my kill count. I, I just have to. Holy shit, dude. Let's we'll see our kill count. We started at 300 something. 300. I want to say 77, but I don't think that's right. 300 something, though. We're 527. Let's freaking go, dude. Let's go sell this bad boy. Awesome. Alright, let's throw this bad boy in. I was just literally watching an Oak Dice video, and then out of nowhere, I saw that I got the drop. Just look how nice that looks. Where the hell is it, dude? Did it disappear? There it is. 
valuable drop. I was just sitting there pog jamming. Let's hope it sells. 13 mil. Yes, dude. Okay. So now we just gotta invest into better gear for the next episode to do some like Zillion or something. I have to go get 70 agility before I could do that, so I don't know what I'm gonna invest my money in for now. Alright, first one is a must. Serp Helm, definitely a must. And other than that, all I could think of for now is a blowpipe as well. That's gonna help a lot with demonic gorillas, let's be honest. Even though I can't wear the Ellie with it, it's just gonna be so useful. Uh, now we have to buy the scales and darts, yes. but look at that, 7.7 .7 mil left. So I'm not sure which darts people actually use. Uh, mithril are 50, and this is like 100, this is literally 120 GP more than mithril's. But then again, I feel like it's not even that much. I don't know, I'm just going to buy 2k. That should last quite a while. As well as loads of Zora scales, because we're going to need that for the serp and the blowpipe, so we're just going to buy like, oh man, that's so expensive, fuck it though. We're going to throw that into each one. Just look at this, boys. Oh, the, that upgrade alone looks so nice. How much are tacits nowadays? 26 mil, so I, don't, I really don't know what to spend this money on. We also have this as well, so we basically have 7 mil. Okay, so I've been thinking, and I think a Fury would be another good buy. There we go. So we don't really have to upgrade our amulet for a really long time, because the only other... Amulets are the Zen jewelry, and uh, that's definitely not worth it right now We're gonna get all the rest of our gear before we end up upgrading towards those, but I do have 3.9 mil left I'm gonna save that for The next episode until I can think of what I want to buy it if you guys want you can leave me a suggestion or Give me an idea of what to spend this on I really don't know at this moment And I'm just gonna start AFKing and training agility from now on and uh, until this episode goes up This will probably go up tomorrow, so I do want to get 70 agility ASAP. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. I'm really happy we got that Zen Shard drop. I wanted to get that before I ended this episode because I, I didn't want to leave you guys with nothing, you know. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. And as always, see you in the next video.